Hi guys, it's Mike and Dom from Catching Z's Outdoors. Today we're here with a video. We're going to be um, unboxing and reviewing our on the water striper cup entrance packages. So the striper cup has been around for about 15 years or so. Dom and I have probably fished it for the last 10. It's a New England uh, striped bass fishing tournament that goes through from May to September and ends with a big party called the Striper Cup. Um, it's based in Falmouth every year, right at the Falmouth Harbor Marina on the green, and it's usually a pretty good time. I think this year it's September 26th um, all day. So like I said, every year we've entered into the Striper Fest, we get a package, an entrance package, uh, that contains a whole bunch of goodies um, that, you know, we get for, you know, our entrance fee. Um, usually there's always a lure, there's usually a shirt, um, and then a whole bunch of other goodies um, from year to year. It seems like every year Dom and I have entered into it. Um, you know, some days we'll, sometimes we'll enter at the same time, other times we'll enter a couple weeks late, different, um, but it always seems that we have different things in our boxes. So it's cool that the On The Water magazine, you know, mixes things up and, you know, they don't give everybody the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely, you know, worth your, your entrance fee. If, if, even if you don't catch anything, it's, it's usually worth it and uh, it's always a good time at their their striper cup at the end of the year mm -hmm. and we're making this video too because we want to see what else is out there um if you guys have any different gear or same gear that we got um leave it in the comments below because we kind of want to know um i'm interested um whether it be a different color lure different size lure different shirt um anything anything of the above um that you guys can think of so um we'll we'll dig right in here so So right off the bat, I have a hat, a gray on the water striper cup. Oh, you got a different hat. All right. Looks like mine's red. So see, we already got something different here. Trucker style hat. Yeah. So it looks like we both have our our shirts. It's got oh, mine's got a hood on it. That's pretty cool. Mine's a regular shirt. But here's what it looks like in the back. Yep. Columbia PFG. They just about do this every year. Um, really good qu quality shirt. Um, Here's the front. Columbia on the sleeve. It's neat. All right, so two things different already. <laughs> Get into looks like this lure. Mm -hmm. uh, so it looks like it's a like a soft tail, you know, paddle tail lure with kind of jig head on the front. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Dom, um, you know anything about this? Um, a few things. So, uh, Spool Tech lures have been around for a little bit. Um, it's actually really cool technology what they're doing with the game. So, on this one, they have a the hook is attached to a leader um, that's sprung on to the hook, so that when a fish attacks the lure, um, basically, let's see if I can show you. So, um, you'll be ac actually fighting the fish on the hook rather than the lure. Um, so with this being said, they obviously, they can't use the lure as leverage. Um, and then it, it's unlikely that your tail will get chew up, but they also do make replacement tails. Um, so if you do have run into any problems with that, you can, guys can grab some more, um, in order to just put it back in, you just kind of spool it right up. Um, when you, when you put it back in, make sure it's really tight. Um, cause you don't want it to be loose when a fish hits. Uh, it's really easy for them to throw it. Um, it's one of the, the things you really have to be. Um, cautious with when using this lure um so they come in many different sizes so um we have the same one kind of like a natural shiner it looks like it's a six inch yeah. with a one and three quarter weight um they call it the silver digger. Oh, silver digger okay if you guys have any different colors that you guys have opened up um please go ahead and comment i'm kind of curious on if they're doing any other different sizes or even colors um so go ahead and leave a comment. And you said the tails were um, replaceable? Sure, yeah, yep, you can replace the tails. Um, they'll, you know, they'll break down every once in a while. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't deploy or whether it be you're hitting it off rocks instead of fish chewing it up. Um, but just normal normal wear and tear on the tails, just like any other gear, like the Savage uh, Sand Eels happens a lot too, or 
you'll come get a blue and chomp it right off. So they do make the replaceable tails. Sweet. Looks like I've got a couple of on the water stickers. Yep. Striper Cup sticker 2020. Same yep. ones. Same ones. And they always put a ruler. I, you know, every year it seems like we always have a ruler and I've got them kicking around the house. I use them for all sorts of things. You know, I keep them on a boat, keep it in the truck, keep it in my, uh, my gear bag. Yep, right in the gear bag for me, <laughs> for sure. So, but usually we get white ones, so red's, red's cool, switching up a little bit. Mm -hmm. And they always have, um, your traditional striper cup pin. Uh, it's kind of neat. Let's see, it says the 15th annual striper cup on the water, 2020. Kind of a neat pen. A little cool collector's item. So it looks like I've got some eyeglass or uh, sunglass holders. Oh, I didn't get that. From on the water. That's pretty sweet. Nice. I didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> Which brings it up. If you guys have any other items that they added in that um, neither of us have, please um, go ahead and comment below. Um, it, it could just depend on when you ordered it or, you know, just what they felt like putting in it. I think. Me and Mike probably ordered ours about three days um, separate. I ordered it three days after him, so that could have been it. Um, or just, you know, any any other factors. So. so it looks like they just put a catalog with a couple, you know, a couple other items for sale on their uh, their website there, you know, promoting their business. Mm -hmm. um, and then finally, there's just a picture, a paper explaining, you know, the Striper Cup. Um, so when the Striper Cup started they used to have weigh-in stations um, for all your all the categories i believe they started with surf and boat and then a, a couple years down the line they added in a, a kayak um, category so you used to have to weigh in your fish you know every week uh, to be eligible for a prize and i think the last maybe two years ago they changed that all to just pictures uh, which is really great for the fish and you know conserving them I would, you know, hate having to, to have to kill a fish just to be able to weigh it in. And, you know, usually the ones that I want to weigh in are, are the big ones that I really want to let go and, you know, mm -hmm. continue to breed. Um, so I really like that, the idea of them, you know, just doing the, the take a picture. Um, you're able to enter three fish a, a week on their website and you, you know, take a picture of you know, yourself and the fish um, or, you know, you're releasing the fish or, you know, whatever. You got to have the fish in the picture and then you enter in the amount of inches that it, um, it measured out to be. And then you're eligible for the weekly prizes. So every week they have, you know, prizes for every category, the, the boat uh, category, the surf category and the kayak. Uh, and they're usually, you know, pretty good prizes, fishing poles, mm -hmm. you know, tackle boxes, gear Reels, from um, anything, yeah. Columbia. So, you know, every week if you're able to, you know, catch a fish and enter it into the, the tournament, um, it makes you eligible for that week prize. Um, mm -hmm. And then at the end of the season, there is the grand prize of, um, you know, the, the boat. So, you know, a couple weeks before the, the September 26th um, Striper Cup, they'll send you out a golden ticket, um, which you can enter at the Striper Cup the day of the um, the party and be eligible to win the boat. Only the people that are at the, the Striper Cup on that day at Falmouth Harbor um, are eligible to win the boat. So, you know, I feel like we've got a pretty good mm -hmm. shot of, you know, potentially winning a, right. a sweet boat. We've never won it, but hey, <laughs> you got a pretty good shot. It seems like you got a pretty good shot. So. Right. So, you know, and like I said, the, the Striper Cup is, is a lot of fun. There's a lot of, you know, fishing vendors um, mm. giving away free things. Yamaha is yep. usually there doing a boat demo. Right. Um, you know, you just get out on the water. They'll take you out Har um, Falmouth Harbor and into um the vineyard sound you know do a couple laps and then come mm -hmm. back to the harbor so they do a lot of um lure demos too they bring out these um long basically fish tanks and they have people cast and experts kind of tell you you know some new features on um some classic tackle or some new tackle that they're coming out with so that's kind of neat to see as well um get you ready for the next season so and this tournament i would highly encourage everybody to do uh, this isn't just for, you know, expert or intermediate fishing people. This is for beginners as well. Um, like I said, the first year I probably did it, I probably didn't even catch a fish. But um, <laughs> getting, you know, getting all of this, this cool tackle and um, clothing, it's well worth the entrance fee. And like I said, you get a shot at the boat as well. 
Um, so I highly encourage everybody to get into this tournament. Right. You don't even have to catch a fish to be mm -hmm. able to enter in to win the boat. Right. Uh, and if anything else, it gets us motivated to get out and fish, you know. For sure. Um, you're not going to catch a fish if, if your line's not getting wet. Mm -hmm. So, you know, uh, my advice to everybody out there is get out and fish as much as you can um, and just have fun. You know, this is that's the whole mm -hmm. spirit of this tournament is just having fun, getting out, you know, getting those pictures of releasing your fish yep. um, and then the big party at the end. Right. Yep. It, it documents all the fish you uh, you catch this year. So you can look at the end of the year and you know, oh, yeah, I caught all these fish. And it's also good because you can go back in your camera roll and see when you caught those fish. So yeah. On the Water does the really good uh, migration pattern, which is awesome. Um, they do a, a whole map view of the striper migrating up the north. Um, it's really cool, but for your personal records, you can also say, oh, you know, I had a fish 44 inches uh, mid-June. That's when I want to go out next year. Um, so it's really cool in that fashion. All right. Well, thanks for watching the video. I hope this helped you out and, you know, gets you excited to, for the beginning of the season. Mm -hmm. um, don't forget to comment if you did get anything different than, you know, what either one of us got in our packages today. Um, hit that like button if you liked the video and please subscribe. Thank you guys. Good luck fishing.